the Red Freddy, she drives me crazy. Which one, a uh, queen or Elvis? Queen. Yeah, I've got the Elvis. <laughs> Fucking got the Elvis. <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Sort of My Podcast. My name is Vincent Herman, Vin the Human, sitting across the table from me. Travis Herman, Dr. T. Neal. Unfortunately, Alpha Spectre took an arrow to the knee this week and won't be joining us. But what you can do for us is like the Sort of My Brand page and our nerd news page, Sort of My Comics, on Facebook. Subscribe to Sort of My Brand on YouTube and follow Sort of My Podcast on Instagram. You're listening to this somewhere. While here, why not rate, comment, and share? It helps us grow. And all of our personal social media is down in the description below. So, we we picked the worst time to take an extra week before recording because yeah. it is it's fucking sports season. Oh uh, yeah. Ro- yeah, the Royal Rumble, Super Bowl, where Olympics just started. Everybody knows sports and nerdery goes hand in hand. Oh yeah, like I mean, we're a we're all a bunch of uh, ball goal guys right, right. here. You I know? mean, th- these days it kind of does though. <laughs> Yeah. At least well, in this situation, it does. All three of those things I have watched and am watching. <laughs> uh, and, and I mean, not ju- I don't just watch the Super Bowl for the trailers. I, no, I uh, don't. Yeah, uh, last year was a great game, uh, almost historic, because I think it's like the second time they've ever went into overtime in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, the, this year was just an awesome back and forth, like it, especially towards the end, it was this really like. Who's gonna win this type thing? Yeah. It's uh, fun, kind of following like uh, that on Facebook because I I didn't I wasn't watching it, but uh, yeah, I saw I saw the fan progression. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you have the Patriots in the game, they play mm-hmm. the long game, so like you really don't want to get too cocky if you're scoring points on them in the in the beginning. Uh, because they will come back, and they damn near did this time. Like they, mm-hmm. they really could have pulled it back around in that last quarter. Yeah. But uh, Royal Rumble was cool. We, uh, first ever women's Royal Rumble. I heard uh, Rey Mysterio came back. Oh yeah, Rey Mysterio came back in the in the men's Rumble. Oh, it was so fucking awesome too. It was, it was next level. Uh, um, but more importantly, the women's Rumble. There were so many women that came back. You had Lita. Lita, Lita yeah. was in fighting form. Uh, Molly Holly. Trish which, Stratus was. Trish Stratus too. owned house, too. I almost <laughs> hope she comes back full time because Definitely. like she did that good. Uh, Molly Holly did the Molly go round, which is she gets up on the top rope and she does this like full front flip. And then lands and like right into someone's face. No oh, man, <laughs> and it, she pulled it off beautifully. It was great. She got knocked under the ropes though at one point and went down to the apron. I thought she was gonna go under and come back out with the mask and the cape and be Molly, uh, uh, Mighty Molly. Oh yeah, yeah. that was great because <laughs> guess who else came back in the men's rumble? Okay. The fucking hurricane. Oh right. Yeah, the hurricane oh. came back. I was, I've been playing a uh, 2011 SmackDown versus Raw. <laughs> And uh, I've been trying to unlock characters, way man. That's stay what with, I need. Way to stay with the times there, Travis. Yeah, I'm catching up. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, they were, it, it was pretty cool. Uh, Ronda Rousey came out at the very end of the whole thing. We're going to be talking about that a little later in Phone Booth News. But, uh, oh, and the Winter Olympics opening ceremonies were fucking beautiful. And, uh, again, uh, we've got another historic event happening because South and North Korea came together to put this on, and mm-hmm. uh, when they were introducing the uh, South and, and North Korean athletes, they didn't come out as separate. They came out as Korea, and they had a unified brand new flag. Huh. Yeah, it was it was wonderful. I mean, it, it just shows that in the Winter Olympics or any Olympics of any sort is not about the politics. It's it's about camaraderie and the world coming together to, to put on a show and compete. Oh, and uh it's, a lot of it's, sportsmanship yeah especially. pretty great also elon musk has been in the news a whole lot yeah uh, <laughs> you probably know more about uh the launch and everything than yeah I, I actually uh watched uh, that did you yeah uh, uh, during was, the live stream or no not during the live oh. stream i couldn't catch it then but uh it was it was some sci-fi stuff first of all they sent a tesla out into space and so now there's a tesla exposed just floating around in space why not yeah why not but uh they also tested this new system where the rockets from the shuttle can land can come down and land perfectly uh they they nailed two out of three 
was awesome because I mean that that's like next level like Millennium Way Falcon better. type stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but I mean between that. Him, uh, he he's selling flamethrowers to fund underground tunnels. Yeah. About that, uh, <laughs> he's becoming a super wait. villain. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, I must overlook that last part. <laughs> yeah, like this whole thing is just like the like we all think he's doing all these great things for the planet, and, and technically he is, but it's yeah. all. I'm sure there's a secret agenda here. But uh, uh, I, I seen him um, where he put the uh, the car on the Falcon Heavy. The console or whatever said, "Don't panic on it." Yeah. And as soon as I saw that picture uh, of it, because I hadn't seen the video or read anything about it yet, I knew Hitchhiker's Guide from the Galaxy from the get go. I've been. I just. See, read, I didn't even didn't know, know that. that. Yeah, I didn't oh, even know that. That's exactly what wow. it is. Uh, it, 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 I don't know what <laughs> what uh, caused him to like think of these things. Oh no, he together. said just because he could. Like, oh, yeah. He did it just because he wanted to do it. Well, he could well, have I mean, just done anything. The rocket and that's launch, what he chose. yeah, the very... rocket launch, and the point of it going out where it's where it's supposed to be uh, traveling, yeah. and the, the rocket boosters coming back down like that. That was all for scientific, yeah, like purposes. But the Tesla is just because he wanted yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, uh, the way he did it was it was pretty classy, but still fun at the yeah. same time. Yeah, it's really great. Another thing that's that's really great is uh, the Venom trailer. I believe you've seen this as well. Yeah, yeah. It, it, well, first of all, I want to say I, I love that they're not giving a lot away. Have you seen the poster, too? Yeah, uh, yeah. with the uh, like minimalist face. Is yeah, it's just the, the Venom eyes, and then it says Venom, and all the credits at the bottom and stuff. I feel like I'm going to see a shit ton of those t-shirts at walmart soon probably <laughs> absolutely <laughs> now that i mention it, it's like oh yeah <laughs> i see like 20 guys wearing that shirt with a pair of camo shorts yeah but <laughs> oh God. you know yeah uh for sure it's the new i feel like it's gonna be the new punisher t-shirt yeah but yeah, yeah the new venom stuff is that's exactly what i thought of when i saw the logo yeah I'm like that's a t-shirt yeah. <laughs> but it is nice i like but it. yeah the, like the, the poster. poster is minimalist it's not giving anything away yeah the trailer doesn't give it like i've got so many questions yeah like, i watched uh, it and i don't know much well, anything about it really i did put a couple things like i think i put a couple things together and i'm probably gonna be wrong about these but uh the first thing is i don't think he gets infected by the symbiote like he does in the comic books right. uh i think what's going to happen here is that he's He's going to get infected through some sort of lab experiment. Because you see all those doctors yeah. standing around when they open the doors and the symbiote's bubbling in that yeah. little case or something. And then later you see him, like, in the MRI machine and you see him being experimented on and stuff. Yeah. So, I, I'm, well, I don't think it, they showed him being experimented on. But they show a lot of hospitals. what it shit. feels like when, yeah. when you're watching it. But uh, anyway, yeah, it, it seems like like the doctors are going to be responsible for this. Uh, I would say it's a science project, maybe like a science facility Goddamn or something. Si when will science learn? Right. <laughs> Give up. <laughs> we should just stop. We're like, I mean, we're eating Tide Pods, so I would say that we're pretty fucking advanced. <laughs> and we're about as advanced as we need to be. Throw Tesla in space, eat a Tide Pod, and <laughs> yeah. get to 2018. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh um i also have a theory on the way that uh venom is going to form into the whole spider s spider-man s type form that he takes and oh, there, yeah. there have been reports i think we said this on the podcast before that tom holland has been seen on set reportedly seen on set not confirmed but i think that he's going to make this big break from the the scientific facility or whatever he's gonna end up in town or something and shit's gonna go haywire the symbiote's gonna act up or something spider-man's gonna get involved and the symbiote decides to mimic him because of his power i hope so that sounds or, really cool yeah or they end up in a tussle or something yeah wow yeah I'm trying I think to wrap my brain around that one i think right that's now. a great way to go about it uh yeah. and also that would tie this movie into the mcu which they they haven't explicitly well actually no I think they did once say I that seen it wasn't supposed to be yeah. recently uh, that it's possible 
Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, so. it's all on the table. I mean, like, they can do it if they want to. Like, Sony doesn't have to be greedy because this they make does. shit tons. This, well, this movie yeah. doesn't have long till, uh, till it comes out, so no. it's surprising they're holding on to all that. Well, no, it's great that they're holding on to all that, though, because... Um, and it is. Yeah. And we're uh, we're not going to be talking about the new Jurassic World trailer. Uh, it's, it's popped into phone booth news, but uh, the Jurassic World <laughs> trailers are, are one of those things. We said, well, when the first one came out, we talked about the, the T-Rex moment that they gave away mm-hmm. there's another one they gave away in this new trailer that would have been so fucking like oh my god that did that just <laughs> almost, almost right. happen if i'd seen it in the movie there's gonna be a third one when you really see the movie <laughs> <laughs> no those were good the third trailer hour and a half long you know? right. and then when you go see it in theaters there's like five more minutes right. but uh yeah i i love that they're doing that because they do they give yeah. away too much in the trailers it, it gets people intrigued it gets people's asses in the seats yeah i, I don't know uh it's not like I, watching the trailer has me interested in a movie in general uh, I like the way they're delivering delivering it, but I, I wouldn't say I, I'm really anticipating this movie unless something like that moment with Spider Man happens. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like because of this yeah. goddamn podcast, <laughs> I'm gonna go see it. It's right. gonna happen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm still not there to where I'm like, oh my god, I can't wait to see Venom. Yeah, but there is that moment when he's like shaking and vibrating, and then like slowly you see like the black kind of crawling up his veins and oh, the yeah. neck. Uh, that part got me a little excited. I was like, oh shit, uh, cream the jeans a little so, bit. Yeah, so yeah, uh, you know, I changed my <laughs> pants real quick and then I sat down and wrote. <laughs> not a big deal. But uh, yeah, not a big deal. Whatever. Uh, Just yeah, I love thing. I love Tom Hardy though. He's been awesome in Inception and uh, Lawless. Uh, uh, he was Bane. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he's great. So I I have faith in him. <laughs> I like him. You were born into your spider power, <laughs> <Right>? Spider Man. <laughs> er, dog. Uh, fuck that whole reference up. <laughs> uh, you know what else is fucked up though? The uh, Deadpool trailer. Deadpool 2's new trailer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, not fucked up in a bad way. Just, like, kind of all over the place. I like the way they... Uh, I like the way they did it. I feel like they're geniuses with uh, Deadpool marketing and, like, promotions and everything. They, right. They hit it on the head every time. Uh, yeah, every They single... haven't went wrong, even with, like, Ryan Reynolds well, tweeting or... Yeah, you had... Everything's You perfect. had Deadpool's actual Twitter account, the Deadpool movie Twitter account. Oh, yeah. Live tweeting during the Super Bowl... And just making all these references and jokes, not really talking about the game so much, right. but just uh, doing all that. It was it was hilarious. <laughs> um, and yeah, they 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 nailed the ad campaign one hundred percent. I mean, even if Deadpool the the first movie had been shit, I still could have walked away going, "Yeah, but that was a fun ride getting there, right?" Right. <laughs> yeah. Everything was really good. Uh. Yeah, and this one is like, I mean, wh- within the first minute, they've already taken a. Cra- crack at uh justice league oh man uh i have a <laughs> list of things for the oh, yeah. there's only two how long was this trailer like two minutes uh, a minute 40 maybe something like that and yeah two minutes something there was so much in it man uh what were you talking about uh crack at uh justice well, league that, that first part where where the the arm isn't finished the metal arm oh yeah oh my god it's not like we're trying to cgi off a mustache see i haven't (laughs) i haven't seen uh jla yet so um or Uh, jl justice league jl Uh, (laughs) but uh yeah i haven't seen it yet so i really want to see how bad that mustache problem is (laughs) <laughs> uh, and something else man uh but yeah they they do that and then from there <laughs> we hilarious. immediately go into a toy story reference yeah which is not just a reference to toy story but it's also kind of a crack on the disney fox deal because yeah. this is a fox film yeah uh and that um uh, cable only has one eye so he's one eyed pete from uh toy story 2 <laughs> and then sheriff deadpool. Yeah. sheriff deadpool some of the dialogue is almost the same from that scene he's like reach for the sky yeah he's like uh Oh no, it's Sheriff Woody and say or whatever. It's <laughs> yeah. Sheriff Deadpool. Yeah. And uh yeah, I, as soon as I saw that I was like, This is familiar and as soon as like you see the bottom of their shoes say Wade yes. with the backwards E, it's yes, like yes. perfect. Ah, oh, that was so <laughs> great that they did that. Uh and then it, and again, still like we're still only like what, a, a minute ten into this thing, and then boom, they make two Infinity War references. Yeah. 
uh, it, it was pretty great. I also um, forgot and or never knew because maybe they never announced it because this podcast sucks up so much of my brain space and I have to push <laughs> it all out for the next episode. But uh, Terry Crews is in Yeah, is I in saw there. that too. Uh, and isn't there, uh, there's like no reveal on who he is. But he, yeah, they haven't announced it, but they're a fan. He's in the days. helicopter with the crew, which could be the yeah. the six pack or uh, the X Force. Uh, and then oh. an, a, one more great reference I want to point out about this uh, yeah. is in the scene where Blind Al like accidentally is pointing her gun the wrong way, and Wade pushes her arm over. Did yeah. you notice Deadpool's shirt? Yeah, I did. Uh, I I saw it online. Um. Yeah, it's a but, reference to the Goonies. Richard it's, Donner's Goonies, yeah. Yeah, it looks like Chuck's shirt. And uh, the the fun thing about that is, is you know who Josh Brolin was, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't yeah. even think about that. He was the older brother yeah. in the Goonies. <laughs> yeah, that's so. Surprising, I didn't think of that connection at all at first, but yeah. <laughs> and And we still have no idea. I still have no idea exactly what's happening in this movie. <laughs> I so, think like, I have an oh, well. Okay. Uh, well, what's your idea? What, well, what you uh, here? no, I, I can't really say that. Break I do. it down for us. There's only like a few things that I read that gave me an idea of uh, where we're at that um, Cable's going to be trying to kill Deadpool. Yeah. He's hunting him down. Yep. Yep. I know that. Well, much. I think we kind of got that from that last scene where, where Deadpool's like, well, that's just lazy writing. Your time's up. You, yeah, he comes in. Fucking, yeah. yeah. But other, than, other than that, really, I don't, I don't know what else to expect. He, uh, I think. They're together in the. Uh, they're not in. The, he's not in the helicopter, is he? Cable? No, I don't believe so. Okay, yeah, I think he's the uh, villain in this whole movie. So. Well, I think he's going to start Anti-hero. out as an yeah as a villain, but uh, it's gonna like, turn to a different one. because whenever Cable comes back in time, mm-hmm. he's there to kill someone. That's, right. that's always what's going on. You know what? Really, but. they're not gonna be able to do. Uh, they might make a joke about him being Scott Summers' son. Mm-hmm. I hope. Uh, well, we still don't know what that teddy bear is about. Like, what, what, I would assume, like from what I've read, uh, being like possibly yeah. his daughters. Well, either his daughters, which or... isn't really his daughter. No, right? no, no. Yeah. Uh, it is a whole clone thing involved. It's, <laughs> it's something else, but or it could just be a remnant from his childhood. Who knows? Yeah. But it could take it any direction, really, with the movie. Yeah, with uh, with uh, Josh Brolin though. Like, apparently, there there's more. There's jokes on jokes in this thing, man. Yeah. Uh, when he's doing the toy bit with uh, Toy Story, uh, he makes a joke about uh, you're you're a lot taller in person, and apparently, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like Cable yeah. would be six ten or something, where Josh Brolin's only like five ten, yeah. and Ryan Reynolds is taller than Josh Brolin. Who is it? Tom Cruise is only as tall oh, as me, yeah. and I'm five six. They had so. to do it with uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Hugh Jackman. He's a lot taller than yep. Wolverine would be. Yep. Did you uh, see the one where he grabs Colossus's butt? No, no, I didn't. It was see a that. international. Uh... The international trailer. Yeah, no, I, I didn't see. I that didn't one. get to see it, but apparently, if if you go ahead and watch that one, the it'll end with uh, Deadpool having a hug or some sort of moment with Colossus, and he, <laughs> he grabs his buns. But there was also a couple other things I noticed in it. Uh, did you see where he had duct tape all over his suit? Who Deadpool? Yeah. His, no, it's like a duct that. tape suit, basically. <laughs> it's not a whole lot, but uh, should have gone with flex tape, right? Oh could've, yeah, man, could have recruited it on Phil. There. <laughs> <laughs> Phil comes in, just slaps it on there. <laughs> We're gonna get him a movie spot yet. We got to. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that is the whole point of sort of my from here on out. Like sort of my anything brand comics, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's all about getting Phil a movie deal. <laughs> Hashtag flex feel or Phil. <laughs> Phil Flex? Phil for the movies. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... We can talk about Ant-Man. Oh, yeah. And specifically Ant-Man. the Ant-Man and the Wasp trailer that came out recently. Uh, this... Oh, my God. This looks so much fun. Like, it, it looks like a total comic book movie. And mm-hmm. I mean that in, like, the, the previous sense. Because nowadays... When you think comic book movie, you think a little more epic and dark and stuff. But there used to be a time when you would think about this kind of movie. Like, oh yeah, what what would be a perfect comic book movie? It'd be Ant Man and the Wasp. Oh yeah, so. I'll jump ahead in my note to the uh, trailer song. Did you like the song that was playing? Uh, yeah, I yeah, I took the same note as as soon as I heard. It, I was like, wow, this is like that was this a, is comic book music. Such man. a great song. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was a theme song, and then I looked it up, and it was a. Uh, 
Adam and the Ants, Ants Invasion. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that is perfect. So, so clever. Whoever, I hope whoever came up with that in the Marvel offices got a promotion oh, or yeah. a bonus <laughs> or something, because that's just great. People are noticing that, then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one thing I, I do question about this uh, is its timeline a little bit, because it's obviously set after Civil War, because yeah. like, the, like the trailer starts off with, and I mentioned this on a previous podcast about wishing the Wasp had been in Civil War, because it would have totally made sense, oh, and they yeah. could have done it if they wanted to, but, oh, but their excuse was they were worried about cluttering it up. Mm-hmm. You've got well, over, what, what is it, like 40 different super-powered individuals in Infinity War? Yeah. And you're worried about cluttering up Civil War? I think it has to do with the story being uh, that Hank and uh, Hope don't want the pin particle falling in the wrong hands. So the yeah. less people involved in the government, probably the better. Yeah, but then they wouldn't have... Well, well you got to think about that, though, because Cap was outside the government for Civil War. Yeah. He was the one opposing this bill, and they brought... Uh, Ant-Man, and in fact, Captain America says to Ant-Man, right. he's like, if we do this, we're fugitives. And Ant-Man's yeah. like, well, what else is new? Yeah, yeah. very true. So, they could also play the, the like, a spin on uh, Hank not wanting her to. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Well, I, yeah. I hope we find out, because yeah. it would have made total sense, because at the end of Ant-Man, they revealed the Wasp suit. Yeah. You you have to assume she's had time to train in between then and Civil War, yeah. so she totally could have been a part of it, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Well, my point is, this is definitely after Civil War, but it's before, I'm thinking it's set before Infinity War, it is. because it's coming out. After Infinity it's taking War. place at the same time as Homecoming and Black Panther. Yeah, Panther. and it wouldn't Those be the, are all happening at the same time. It wouldn't be the first time they've done like, a, oh, Infinity War came out, but here's a movie that happened yeah. before it. I hate that they're doing that, really. Well, I mean, it, it's it's fine because Captain America, when that came out, that took place in the fucking forties. Right. So, and you don't get any hints at uh, the Infinity War from the trailer of. Yeah. Wait, never mind. That's you wouldn't anyways because it's beforehand. <laughs> and Captain Marvel is taking <laughs> place in the nineties. So oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it wouldn't be the first time that they've like kind of jumped around that's a bit. True. So that's fine, I guess. Uh did you notice Lawrence Fishburne in there? Oh yeah. I hadn't uh heard of the character before, but uh it seemed like Worth noting, at least. Yeah, well, he is playing the character who would be known as Goliath, yeah. who in the comics died during the Marvel Civil War. I guess he was the fourth uh, Goliath. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. and he was the second giant man. Look at you dropping yeah. some comic knowledge uh-huh. on me. I didn't know that. Well, once I had read that, I was like, yeah. so wait, like, is there a fucking, like, is there an order? Like, oh, well, we got a new Goliath. I got to read up on Goliath. Yeah. I don't know what, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Well, I th- what I think it is, is um, either he's going to be helping out the villain, or right. it's going to get revealed that he was helping out Ant-Man and the Wasp back in the day, because in the first movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp were uh, Hank Pym and yeah. Janet Van Dyne. And, and uh, yeah, uh, apparently Lawrence Fish- Fishburne playing Dr. Bill Foster. Yeah. Uh, Bill Foster's supposed to be an old friend of Hank Pym's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and that's why I'm thinking, like, maybe he was a hero back in the day, too. But so. the shots that Lawrence Fishman's in, he's in the shots with uh, the antagonist, which we haven't yeah. got to yet. Yeah, which is why I'm thinking he's he, working for, for some bad, yeah. reason or another. Like, I don't know why, but I, like, I'm, a, I'm just hoping they, they do Goliath. That's that's all that's yeah. motivated by. I'm hoping he's a, he was a hero back in the day so we can yeah. see Goliath. Do the flashbacks thing. maybe with yeah. him and uh Hank Pym. Yeah, and, right. And uh Michelle Pfeiffer, who is uh Hank Ooh, Pym's wife. Yep. I we can't have... wait to see her in this film too, because she's been seen on set. Like she's oh. she's I'm I'm so sure they're gonna be pulling her out of the microverse. Uh going back to um where where it takes place, we know where it takes place. I think it's Hope and Hank are picking up where they're on the run. They're on the run. Yeah. Since, well, uh, yeah. That, I mean, you get that scene where they're in the field yeah. and all the police or whatever converging yeah. on them. Well, they're on the run. I think they break Scott Lang out of house arrest because he he's on house arrest after the whole thing. Yeah. It's easy to assume Captain America can get, can get away with this, but Scott's a lot more small time, I'd say. Yeah. No. I, I guess. 
you know, well, Captain America goes to Wakanda. He's a thief, you know. <laughs> yeah. He's a, he's he a thief. Caught. He does heist. He doesn't do espionage and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So he's, he's in house. So sometime after Captain America yeah. breaks him out. Um, he gets caught. The, the person, yeah, he gets caught. Sure. <laughs> yeah, so they break him out. I think they break him out. Or <laughs> they, they save him <laughs> from house arrest, whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So they can get help uh, to go to the cellular world. In the yeah, last well, movie, I don't see why Scott's that... the one who brought new info about the cellular oh, that world is... yeah. to him. The that... microverse. Yeah, yeah, and as soon as uh, like you I just see a light in Hank's eye, like this is it. Like Scott's yeah. fucking solved it. We're gonna go to this, you know. I, I will admit it's been a world. while since I've seen Ant Man, but it's I, one of my I'd favorites. Forgotten about that, but yeah, it, that did happen. Oh, you you moved over there. Right yeah, there. I like a. I like this part too because the cellular world is gonna be awesome. Uh, I don't know what they're driving or they have a ship at first, but you see inside of the ship or car that there is a ship hold. Like there's a cargo hold and there's a oh. ship in it. It's some sort of ship for the subatomic travel, and that's when you see them going through the cellular world. Huh. And yeah, it, yeah, yeah. they're like driving past like gigantic dust mites. Yeah, you're seeing the dust mites. It's gonna be so yeah. gross. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, how do you like the uh, building shrink? Uh, where they where they shrink that building down. Oh, I thought that was awesome, man. Uh, yeah, they're using uh the pin particle amazingly in this whole mo- uh, well, movie so far. I think the only thing like to to be like, how did they get that constructed with like wheels on the bottom and <laughs> shit? Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not even so concerned about the fact that it has a handle that pulls out because I'm like, sure they could build that well, in. But the when wheels... it's bigger size, the handle is a vent. It's an air vent. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duct. That okay. all makes yeah. sense to me. What I'm saying the is wheels. the fucking wheels. <laughs> well, yeah, the building would have had been made detachable. He could have made the building beforehand and then uh, blown it up. But then how are they running water to it? Like, they've got to have functional yeah. bathrooms. Yeah, there would have shit. to be a uh, septic built into it. They uh, just have bu- buckets in the fucking corner of right. the building. And I'm all sure the, everything's bolted down and shit. Yeah, the stuff has to be bolted down. And uh, God forbid anyone had anything on their desk, though, yeah. at the time. When he collapses it, it's either in... Uh, yeah, when he collapses it and then he brings it back up at some point, probably. We're either gonna, you know, see a whole shit show or everything's gonna be nice. Yeah. With a hand, with a handle though, there's got to be like two gigantic poles running all the way through the building, and God forbid there's people in that building when he does right. that. <laughs> right. And uh, the two poles just come crashing down through the people. Nah. <laughs> uh, Damn you, know, Hank Pym! You've obviously done your homework this time around, <laughs> Travis. Did you uh, look into our villain this time? A little Ghost. bit. Um, there was something I wanted to say about the cellular world, though. I think they get. Uh, Scott to go there so they can get Hank's wife. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't, well, I don't think I said that. That's exactly what I said earlier. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to follow. Except like for, I said it in like three words. <laughs> I wanted to follow like a story. See if we can figure out what the movie is, basically. Okay. Yeah. So we're up to the point to where you know they're going subatomic, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And that's, I guess, that's really all I've gotten to. But uh, Ghost, that the antagonist, yeah, the antagonist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should have had my sitcom app. You heard that one here first, folks. Anyone else <laughs> says it, they took it from us. Right. But they didn't. They didn't hardly show anything. You see, like maybe like two, uh, two clips of this villain. Yeah. But what we do know about her is, is her powers. Right. Uh. Well, and in the comics, playing... it's a dude, but yeah. in this, it's it's a. It's Hannah John uh, Kamen yeah. from Game of Thrones. Yeah. Uh, the powers include invisibility, intangibility, yeah. which means she can float through shit like vision. Yeah. And uh, she can also uh, possess electronics. No. Oh. So. They read and, somewhere and she was the, like a hacker, so like very technology savvy, yeah. I guess. Uh, I so she's going to be quite the, the opponent for Ant-Man. And yeah, they, that's they, true. They're gonna have to find some real clever way to beat him because a lot of these movies ha- suffer from like basically the villain being kind of a clone of whoever the hero is. Right. And in this situation, we've got two totally different entities, oh, yeah. uh, mostly uh, technology based, but in two di- very different ways. And you oh. saw how Ant Man freaked out about vision floating through him. Oh so. yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, the way this uh her suit or whatever works is a, a lot different 
it's really interesting that I want to see how that, uh, what the science is for. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad that Because it's like flickering, it. and it's it's kind of horror movie-ish looking. Yeah, you see the way her hand is like yeah. jittering about. And yeah, stuff. it's like a horror movie or something. Yeah, uh, I, I can't wait to see how they play that out, because that's another thing that they're kind of like portioning out. We don't know a lot about this villain's motivations, yeah. or what she's after, or what she wants to do. We so. just want to see the... We just want to see the Paul Rudds, you know? Give, <laughs> give me the Rudds. Give us some Rudds. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, I, I love the way that they're playing with pin particles in this thing, yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the Hello Kitty Pez you dispenser. You may think it's, it's bigger now, but I, th- I think they still did really good in the first movie. I think oh, it's yeah. just more varieties. Well, I mean, they, they had a Thomas the Tank Engine yeah, there was that out there was of that. a building. A giant ant. But, like, one of my favorite scenes is when they get locked in the briefcase. So everything around them <laughs> seems big. So it yeah. kind of changes yeah. the whole, uh, makes it a whole grasp on that yeah. a visual. Well, in this a giant one, iPod playing the Cure while they're blasting each other, and little little holes are flying through the briefcase. In, in that one, it, in the first movie, it seemed like they were kind of figuring out. Uh, well, True, not yeah. not from a production standpoint. I mean, like the characters were figuring out how's the best way we can use this. And in this True. one, it seems more action movie type like they figured it out now they've got all these clever ways to use it like uh, again the hello kitty pet suspenser or where the van shrinks down and goes underneath another van and then expands again yeah uh so it seems like they're going to be playing with that a whole lot and that's just that just adds to the fun i I can't wait for that i want to i guess i'd i really want to know what how that van still goes as fast as it goes when it gets small. I'm assuming it's a real quick motion. It shrinks down, goes immediately under, or maybe they're no, I mean, even. Like, I, yeah, wouldn't it be slower? Up with the speed. Yeah, wouldn't it well, be slower? That's what I'm saying. Slower? I'm th- I'm thinking it's like an immediate thing. Like while they're shrinking down, oh. they're turning <laughs> left, and then once they're totally <laughs> shrunken down, they're underneath, and then they immediately expand. I feel like if I was driving yeah. with that technology, I could figure a way to get under that. Car. Yeah. I can get under that car. I mean, because even it. if... Hold they... my beer. I'm getting under that van. <laughs> Hold my beer. I'm going to shrink this van and flip that other van. Yeah. Uh, but even if they only caught the tail end, they'd still flip yeah. that. Yeah, they SUV, killed those so. guys. They absolutely killed those guys. Those guys are dead. <laughs> but, I mean, hey, they're fugitives. What's well, new? There's another uh, actor that... Uh, someone I, I really like in there. I don't know if you noted. Um, Walter Goggins. Um... Oh, oh yes, yeah. Um, like he's in, he's on the ship clutching the uh, the building while Ant Man, on the bridge. Child Man, Wonder, isn't that a, a scene he's, I, on a bridge? It's a ship or a bridge. I think it's a ship, but maybe it know, is. Agree to disagree. But a giant, a giant man comes up. Let us side. know in the comments down below. What do you think? Ship or bridge? Ship or bridge? Hashtag ship or bridge. Do you see a uh, gold and black, or is it blue and silver? bridge or is it a ship <laughs> bridge <or> ship uh <laughs> yeah it, uh, but uh, anyways yeah that moment where Amp, yeah the giant man is coming up he, he's playing uh it's funny because Sunny technically Birch. he's two different superheroes two? scott lang is technically two different superheroes giant man and oh Ant-Man. yeah that is true yeah yeah <laughs> i've had to explain that i was like when he becomes that he's a giant man but like yeah i said just call him ant man in the movie. Yeah, they, I, they haven't reached that I wonder idea. when I saw Captain America Civil War, because in the theater, when that happened, I, That's dude, giant I was, man. no, I was so audible about it. I was like, oh shit, they did Giant Man. And giant. I, I think, I, I'm hoping people were less annoyed by how loud I was and more going, who the fuck is Giant Man? And I thought that was Ant-Man. <laughs> no, wait, Vinny, is this, <laughs> someone comes on to, uh, to like, hold up, sir. Uh, who the fuck is Giant Man? Well, <laughs> Terry, let me tell you, right in the middle of this movie. Ter- How'd you know my name? Well... <laughs> We're all friends here, Terry. <laughs> We're all friends here, Terry. We all came to see this movie together. <laughs> but uh, Walter Goggins is playing... Our, our friend Terry has a real bad memory problem. Oh. Yeah. Uh... Anyways, Walter Goggins... <laughs> Goggins, Goggins, Goggins. He's playing Sonny Birch. I guess it's an old. You know what? Uh, he he, old... he was playing the lottery by having a Dr. Seuss name. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> old, old Wally Goggins. Wally Goggins. Wally Wally Goggins. Ah, you saw that? <laughs> yeah. You saw the same I video love... I did. After I heard that uh, that uh, abbreviation of his name, I can't get it out of my head. He's old Wally Goggs. Old Wally Goggs. Wally Wogs and Wally Goggs. Uh, credit to uh, Mr. Sunday Movies for that. Yeah, 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 that's true. Um. Uh, yeah, he's playing Sonny Birch. Uh, I love that actor because uh, there was an episode of Community 
where um, Chevy Chase's character dies and he has to give him their bequeathments and everything. But he was really great. Oh, that. yeah. Wasn't he the lawyer or something? Mr. Stone, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he was really great. And at the end, he's, he's like... He's always pretty funny. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be uh, cool to see him in, in the Marvel Universe. Yeah, and he's I wonder what this character's going to do. He's obviously yeah. stolen the shrunken building. Yeah, so and giant man's after, after him. <laughs> How the hell is he gonna get uh, away from him? Uh, I'm not sure, but oh, another thing I'm not sure of is uh, how the hell the Avengers are gonna deal with Thanos. Oh yeah, did you, did yeah, you yeah. see that new Infinity War teaser? I sure did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm uh, starting to think that I'm the master of segways. So. Oh right. Uh, I just keep waiting for it. I'm like, no, <laughs> just do it now. Uh, yeah. So we we got uh, a lot of new footage in this new Infinity War trailer. First of all, lots more Spider Man, and yeah. I was okay with that. Uh, Spider Man from the first trailer, we knew Don the Iron Spider suit or the MCU's version. Yeah. Anyways, um, it, and we see him in that twice. Isn't that a counter terminology because? Wasn't the uh, like actual comic uh, Iron Spider suit in Homecoming? At the end of that, no. Well, I, I mean, he it was, but he turns it down. Yeah, yeah. He says, and then I'm not the ready Iron, the suit that he gets in Infinity War is different, and it's still called the Iron. No, Spider? it's the same thing. Oh, I thought yeah, the it one in exactly I thought the, the one same. in Homecoming yeah. had the legs and everything. No, no, oh. they did, yeah. I uh, went and seen it in theaters. It's been a while. <laughs> Okay, well now it's cleared up for me. Now yeah, no, uh, it's uh, it's the same one as in uh, Homecoming. That's good. Uh, we <laughs> also get to see Tony Stark's new suit, which is total bleeding edge. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, is that that story? Um, um, no, this isn't. Uh, this isn't the suit that's. As uh, this isn't exactly the suit, at least the way that I'm seeing it in this trailer, that's mm -hmm. built into his body. Right. But because they're not going to do it, and yeah, they're not going to do that. You see him sporting the arc reactor. So what I'm thinking is the suit is built out of nanites, yeah. and it it forms out of the arc reactor. See, and uh, I saw something about that where it mentioned that story. I was like, oh okay. And then uh, I saw something about the uh, arc reactor. And that's the only reason he's going to yeah. be donning a. Uh, Donning one, right? Because, or no, yeah, he never did without it. Did. No, yeah, the suit's right. always had an arc okay. reactor, but like up to this point, it's been constructed suits that uh, he could yeah. step in and out uh, of. But yeah, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh yeah, totally. He, I can totally see him doing that. And I thought at one point when he's, I thought I don't know if he's putting on his glasses or taking them off, but it looks like it's being built out of the suit. Yeah. Am I right about that? Or... Oh, well, uh, it looks what, like his the... sunglasses are being made no, out of the suit. He's taking them off. Is uh, he? I, yeah, I think he's just taking off his sunglasses. But you can see it on a phone. from his shoulders <laughs> and his hand, you can see the it's... suit starting to construct okay. itself. And stuff. It would have been really yeah. cool if he would just like put a finger up to like next to his eyes and it just forms the glasses. <laughs> like I can do that. You know, I'm if Tony anyone Stark. would do that, it would be Tony Stark. You're like built in some ray bands <laughs> <laughs> really quick ones you know right uh but yeah we also get to see cap's new shield some wakandan i tech didn't know right if there. that was a wet i guess it is a weapon but I, yeah that's what it looked like to me that like, yeah. kind of like triangular on his wrist I, yeah I didn't see yeah it, it's obviously not a uh full-on like captain america type shield i didn't know if it even got fully fleshed in that trailer because it, it looked did, like it was yeah. still moving well you see him later running in that big loop oh. shot and he yeah. has it out and it's not that big either but okay. uh, well there's that moment in the last trailer where t'challa black panther is like get this man a shield yeah and i'm sure yeah. that they just whip up some wakandan oh. thing i guess you can have mine steve I've got six of them. I one. thought about Still doing one. an accent there, and I was like, "Nope, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that." <laughs> but uh, it's yeah, the ground right now. So, so <laughs> we we only got a little bit more of a taste of, of what's coming up in this uh, trailer. I got some new epiphanies about this. Story oh yeah, after watching ah, it, uh, you, got, you got a few new hot takes. Yeah, uh, the shots of uh, Tony Stark with the like. Really like melancholy, like orange hue behind him. He's mm. really, you know, uh, I think it, I didn't re uh, think about how he was 
envisioned to be the destruction of the Avengers. Yeah. Like, I think it's all, like, crumbling down on it. Yeah, or and, and throughout these films, he has that. kind of, like, like everything mistake he tries to do. Yeah. I mean, even the, uh, in Civil War, we, we keep coming back to that fucking movie. Uh, in yeah. Civil War, he, he tells Captain America, he's like, I'm trying to stop you from tearing the Avengers apart. And then Captain America's like, you did that when you signed. Yep. Yeah. He's making mistakes. He keeps uh, making the wrong call and the wrong call and the wrong call. Uh, I'll mention this because it's another Civil War one, but uh, when you see uh, Doctor Strange, Tony Stark, uh, the other Benedict guy, I don't know. Benedict his Cumberbatch. No, not him. The other one's his name is also Benedict. Benedict Bumberbatch? <laughs> no. no uh, Cedric Bumberflatch. <laughs> the uh, other guy that's standing with Doctor Strange, Tony Stark, and Bruce Banner. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know his name. His name's Benedict something in real life. <laughs> They're the Benedicts. Anyways. Uh, the Benedict brothers. You can see that Tony Stark's holding the uh, flip phone from uh, yeah, Civil yeah, War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can either assume that he's made the call or he's about to make the uh, Well, know. we talked about that when we talked about the Did first we? trailer. I didn't yeah. uh, remember anything about the phone. Probably because I hadn't remembered the, Goddamn, the phone in Civil War. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Why are we going to cover a trailer twice? How did you ever get a medical degree with this? Right. Well, well, it's not in comics. Let's just say that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, we got a bunch of shots of uh, Thanos' uh, army, basically. And the... The Black Order? Oh, and the yeah. Black Order. Because there's... Oh, he yeah, has a yeah. Lot. He, he has his own personal Yeah, he has a so. whole pyramid of uh, workers here. Yeah, yeah Ebony Maw, Corvus Greave. Proxima Midnight and yeah, they, they seem me uh like seem really cool. In fact, I think Scarlet Witch or not Scarlet Witch, Black Widow uh, kills one of them. And, like in the trailer, in, kind in of this, in this trailer. Yeah, uh, she. I'm pretty I don't sure. Remember it, her doing a whole lot, but maybe I just missed it. Well, it, it'd be pretty intense if she does because you know her being so mortal a human yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she, mortal. She's just a secret agent. I'm pretty sure and she kills one. I don't mean that to. I don't mean that to. Like shit on yeah. this uh, black widow. She's a badass, oh, yeah. but comparatively, you yeah, know? she's she's mortal to them. They're you know a whole another. Right. It's like Bruce Lee taking on Superman. Yeah. You know, Bruce Lee's a badass, but he's kind of a bitch comparatively. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You also see uh you also see a uh, black widow and Bruce finally get some like, you know, like they look at each other and maybe this is the movie where they finally get together or something, you know? I don't think they will. No. No. Never ever? I, yeah, I don't think they're, they're gonna capitalize on that shit. I figure like maybe it could happen in the, <laughs> I in, they in tried, the background. I think they tried people shit on it and then they were like, well, Hulk, like Hulk's it. going to this planet anyway. So. I like it for Hulk. It's, uh, like, it's the think, only thing we were given for I like, think that it'll be a blurb. Yeah. Uh, like there'll be a moment, but they're not going. Uh, again, I don't think they're going to capitalize on it. I don't think they're yeah. going to get together. I think it's just going to be like they reconcile it in this film to get to the next well, thing. They at least get to see each to other again. Yeah. This, I didn't think about that being the. So first we are going. Yeah. We, I mean, it would be cool at least seeing that, seeing yeah. how that all comes to a head. Um. And then, um, did we talk about uh, Bucky being cured last time? I don't think so, but I think it's a, a pretty obvious yeah. thing. Like, and I he mean, has a new arm. Yeah, a, a new... removed from the... Yeah. Uh, there's no star on it anymore. Yeah, or... so and it, I guess that's probably Wakanda Tech, too. But, uh, yeah, those are some of the newer things I noticed from the last time we had talked about it. Yeah. And um, uh, Thanos' army, I think, what were they called? The Outriders or something like that? I don't know if you saw that. But they're a newer development, I guess, from like some of the, <laughs> yeah, like I'm not sure. 2000 comics, which was surprising me sometimes that they're bringing characters from like newer comics. Usually, you would think they draw from or like older comics most time. Yeah. But a lot of I like seeing some of the new newer characters be even going straight to a film like uh Captain Marvel, right? Uh, she well, she's not newer. She's been around a long time. Okay. I'm yeah. Uh, she was Miss Marvel for the longest time. Um, I think she's been Captain Marvel for maybe the past six or seven years. Yeah, still. Uh, don't quote me on that, but yeah. Uh, still but, newer. Yeah, but Carol Danvers has been around since the 70s or 80s. Okay. So I'll say, yeah. 
So. Well, it's good. Like I like when they bring out like people you don't you don't expect. Well, yeah, because Marvel had this. Uh, I mean, well, that's Guardians of the, Gal- uh, the Galaxy right there. Mm-hmm. They did their big name movie. Hell, okay. Well, that <laughs> like I keep mm-hmm. contradicting myself. Iron Man was a risk because Iron Man was nothing, not necessarily nothing, but people didn't really care. Like right. nobody was clamoring for an Iron Man film. They took yeah. a chance on that and it sparked this entire fucking universe. So of course they're going to get the Hulk out of the way. Oh, yeah. They're going to do Captain America Thor. And Thor and all that and get the big Avengers out there. And then they started taking chances with things like Ant-Man. Who was Guardians asking Guardians of for- the Galaxy, dude. Well, That's, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, and expected. not even the known Guardians team, yeah. the like, <laughs> last iteration that barely anyone had ever heard the of. The originals referenced in the second movie yeah. at the end, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this is, is awesome. we are at that point where it's just like, if you slap Marvel on it, it's okay, because people are at least going to give it a try. Give it doesn't it chance, matter yeah. if nobody who knows who Captain Marvel is. Even though nowadays, in the comics, she is a big name. Right. Like she's she's a huge part of Marvel comics. Talk, so. uh, speaking of Avengers 2, um, not Avengers 2, <laughs> Infinity <laughs> War, involving some of the Avengers. That's Avengers 3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Do you, uh, do you have any speculation if any of them are going to be in the Ant-Man Wasp movie? I don't know. Because there was only one. There was Falcon in Yeah, Ant-Man. Falcon. I don't know. So. I don't think they're going to burn like a Tony Stark. or Well, maybe Captain America. Yeah, I, I can only see him. we could get Captain America right in the beginning where he's busting Skull oh, yeah, out. Yeah. Um, Probably definitely credit sequences yeah i i don't really but the actual movie we're going to see very many because this seems like kind of a contained to ant-man story oh because they seem to be on the run this seems to be like a uh uh and not necessarily an espionage-esque type movie but we're we're gonna see another different type of genre in this film an on the run yeah film. and i really don't think that lends itself to any other avengers because scott lang doesn't really know many of them yeah like, he now knows captain america well i mean he was also locked <laughs> up with hawkeye uh, yeah and the rest of them but like you know hawkeye is taking his family and going underground yeah. or something oh, yeah. uh you know uh falcon is probably in the wind with cap we might see falcon again too like I, I could see Cap and Falcon riding together. Yeah. Oh, so. also, um, yeah, I didn't even think about how um, War Machine was on uh, Captain America's side in this new trailer, or the Infinity War trailer. Well, because, uh, there, at this point, there are no sides. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, la- where they last left off, uh, Captain America's kind of the reason Rhodey was, you know, yeah, crippled. But maybe maybe it's the Punisher look in the comics. Right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. They bring in Thomas <laughs> Jane. He pushes yeah. Rhodey out of the suit, and he's. <laughs> I would love it if it's Thomas Jane. But right now, the MCU Punisher is John Barenthal. So, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him. So, he's cool. Uh, that would be great. But it's not gonna be that. <laughs> no. But yeah, I want to see. Uh, I want to see how that uh, turns out happening. How does Rhodey? I mean, and there are we're people, probably going to see some. There like, are people uh, speculating discussions. that there are people missing from that ensemble scene yeah. where they're all running. Like people are starting to think, like, because they did that with Civil War. They took Spider Man, yeah. out of it. After you told me yeah. about something like that, I was like, oh yeah, they could totally just so who knows bleep people out of there. And you it really know? doesn't matter. They could literally be putting out the movie in ten minute chunks yeah. right now, and I'm still gonna go watch it. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Still gonna go watch that's it. That's a mega hyped movie. Oh, and, and there's a scale right now. It's like ten years, man. We've been building yeah, this five on the on a five on the scale of, is like Venom, and then like there's an eleven for uh, Infinity yeah. War. Oh, there was something else I forgot about Deadpool too. Is that uh, on the gun? Oh, it goes to eleven. Oh, on the, yeah. on the what? On yeah, the... when he's slide that dial, it goes to eleven. I remember a dial scene, but I did yeah. not pay attention. <laughs> yeah. Spinal tap all the way. Oh, anyways, but. Moving on from moving backwards, uh, let's talk about the Solo, a Star Wars story trailer. Ooh, that one that came is, out. That's actually, that's going backwards. Well, we, we went <laughs> backwards in the show to move forwards to this movie to tell that goes backwards in the continuity of Star Wars. In a galaxy far, far away. Far, far away. A long time ago. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So Solo, so a Star solo Wars... Solo, a Star Wars story. We what? eventually got there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, one, I want to say, super underwhelmed. 
And I'm I'm just I love Star Wars. If I had to pick a religion, it'd be Star Wars. I, I mean, so. yeah, I'm I'm kind of underwhelmed. Last time I remember even being excited was the newer trilogy, yeah. and then um, I have not been able to gain uh, momentum back since they restarted doing these. Since I the did, Force Awakens. Yeah, I haven't got to see the Force Awakens in uh, uh, like a a whole chunk. Where I can appreciate it. I've just seen, like, horrible... It's been horrible. I need to watch that one. <laughs> yeah. I need to watch Rogue so you're, One. You're the worst person in content. No, I've seen the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I mean, it's you know, got its points. Yeah. And but, you still uh, haven't seen The Last Jedi yet? No. Have, you, have yeah. you seen Rogue One? I would say the Luke Skywalker uh, story is the only thing I'm really interested in. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I haven't seen Rogue One, which is the one I'm seeking to watch. Because, it's great. Because I know it's, like, off on its own. I don't and know that's if my what I copy see. has DVD. If it does, I might loan it to you. Right. But, uh, and then Han Solo, the, the Han Solo story here has... I'm interested after like watching yeah. the trailer and reading about it. But yeah, it's, it's probably on like a six. It's above Venom maybe, but... Yeah, uh, you know. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, again, I'm a total mark for Star Wars. So I'm going to go see it, underwhelmed or not. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm going to go see every Marvel movie. I'm going to go see every DC movie. Of course, I'm, I'm going to go see yeah. every Star Wars film. So, uh, but I'm underwhelmed. And that, that saddens me. But I, I just really don't like Alden. Alden Eichenreich? Is that uh, how you say his name? Yeah. Alden uh, Eichenreich? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he just doesn't do it for me. You can, at uh, all. Well, you can uh, thank uh, Lord and Miller. They're the ones that... Uh, they're the guys from they're the Lego movie. Yeah, so. they 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 got fired for. They're the ones doing who casted him, so they're responsible for the yeah. face of Han Solo. And it's not that he's a bad actor. I saw him in Hail Caesar. He did a great job. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I haven't seen Hail him Caesar, else. but I don't remember him. Either. He's the he's the Western actor. And, that oh, they bring he's in to, yeah, I love yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Uh, I can't remember the character's name from that film right he now. He was but, great. In yeah, he was. He was fantastic in okay, that movie. So, and so yeah, it's not that he's that. a bad actor. It's just that he's, and it's a hard role to cast. It really is. I mean, they didn't really exactly know who Han Solo was until Harrison Ford showed up. Right. You know, Harrison yeah, Ford made Han Solo Han Solo. So it's kind of a hard role to cast. Yeah, I read about like a uh, Han and Luke like dishing or not Luke. Uh, Harrison Ford and George Lucas dishing out like some uh, like backstory and stuff behind the scenes, yeah. like just while they're making the movie. Maybe yeah. not even well, thinking it would go even, anywhere. But he like, wasn't even the first choice for the role. Uh, he had worked oh. with uh, George Lucas on American Graffiti. He was in that. Oh film. yeah, he was a carpenter <laughs> during and after that movie, and then uh, he Man. came in to help it read with the actors read off of the actors and George liked what he was doing in those readings so much they decided to to give him a shot. I love some casting stories that are yeah, good so that. so Harrison Ford wasn't even supposed to be Han Solo. And I'm not even Han supposed Solo. to be here today. He now wasn't. I'm Han Solo. Look at me. <laughs> if only it had worked that well for Dante. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um Nope, unfortunately, his girlfriend fucked a dead man. and He's not Han Solo, that's <laughs> yeah, for sure. He's not Han Solo, that's for sure. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, Clover, no. Clover, though. Lando Calrissian. Yeah, I'm st- also not, like, okay, well, we haven't seen him act the part yet. Yeah. So, uh, we've seen some Alden doing Han Solo. I, I, I had the thing. same reaction you were about to have. He, he, yeah, <laughs> he doesn't look the part, but I, and I can put that away, because Alden I can write wasn't, the the perfect like yeah, visual it, fit, but I was okay with that. You would feel like him. from where uh, Han picks up in the the trilogy, he would look something similar to that. Yeah. And because he, how old is he? In well, uh, he he's much older than Luke. Yeah, I, I want to say he's in his mid thirties. But the age, uh, yeah. what's the di- like the age gap between um, Solo and then uh, the first trilogy? Oh, um, like I want to say it's decades. Uh, it, it, you, you know, no, honestly, Han Solo is human, right? Or wait, yeah, yeah. So I mean, he it can't be decades because he's young. <laughs> he's, he's young. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. He's young. Uh, well, he's he's Corellian. Thank you. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, just to regain some of my nerd. Pit, I knew it wouldn't be human lost. when I fucking saw uh, it. At least ten <laughs> uh, years. At least ten years. I look 
to fucking same ten years ago. <laughs> I was say it was at least ten years. No, that's uh, okay though. It's a movie. But you also got to think he's a, he's a smuggler. He's living a hard life. He's dealing with criminals and all weathered. that shit. You know, you're, you're gonna get a little weathered. Uh, yeah, but, I don't think Glover, uh, like, or Glover. Yeah, Glover. <laughs> Glover. Danny Glover. Don't nail the Glover. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think he is. Um, yeah, I don't. I, he's got a big sense of prequel to him. Yeah, like. I mean, he doesn't seem genuine. He looks sm- uh, smooth. He looks. Yeah. Yeah. He does. looks like he belongs in a part. Yeah. It just doesn't look like Lando. He looks like Lando cosplay. <laughs> yeah. It's, this whole movie is just cosplay. I, I love oh Donald God. Glover, but, uh, you know. Great. I, he does look like cosplay yeah. in the movie, and I I gotta hear him talk, and I gotta see him yeah. act it out. Yeah. I yeah, loved yeah. him in community and the stand ups and all his music. It's all great, but, yeah. like, Star Wars? I'm at the, I don't know. Really, uh, this, mo- <laughs> this movie for me is just... I, I want to see these things uh, because we, we know that we're going to see from the Legends continuity the story of him jo- joining the Empire mm. and then... Because in this trailer he says, I got kicked out of the Academy yeah, for having that was an opinion of my own. Awesome. Uh, and in the... Uh, in the Legends continuity, he actually ends up saving Chewbacca's life and uh, getting kicked out of the Empire, and that's why Chewbacca owes him the life debt oh. and all that. So it seems like we're going to see that. Uh, it seems like we're going to see... Yeah, because uh, he meets him... Chewie and Lando. In this yeah, movie. it seems like we're going to see him win the Falcon uh, right. off of Lando, as referenced in uh, Empire Strikes Back. And it's the yeah. the... The Falcon's supposed to be like pretty nice. There's like yeah, no dents oh, in the, it, man. the Falcon looks so and that's, new. And that that it was part of like the character creation, I guess, yeah. because like they wanted to make Lando. Um, he's supposed to be like play it safe. He likes the rules, yeah. whereas Han is like he he doesn't he disregards the rules a whole lot. Yeah. Oh, but my um, question is, we see that shot inside of the Falcon where the walls are white and everything. Oh yeah. What the fuck happened in all that time? Inside. <laughs> inside yeah, the inside. shit, dude. Like, the outside makes sense. Sure, I got beat up. Punk, I want to see a but... series where it's just, like, days like days in, of their lives in the ship. Yeah, I want to see a but... time-lapse video. <laughs> like, what happened well, to the interior? Look at it in the, uh, what is that movie? Uh, the Last Jedi? <laughs> or, wait, The Force Awakens. Look at it in The Force Awakens. It is fucked. Oh yeah, and well shit I mean it's fun. dingy as shit in in the original trilogy yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, so like what the fuck happened? This thing's been through a lot. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, there's... we're gonna see a younger shit. Yeah, yeah, it's got a different <laughs> satellite on it. That that missing chunk from the the front of it is know. there. Wait, what? There's yeah. a yeah, where, you know that little separation where, where the goes... two prongs are. Yeah, yeah, that's there's filled some, in. There's a square chunk missing. Yeah, that, that it's filled in. in those that movies, is so. a creative idea. Be yeah, like, so we're gonna see. What that? if that's a missing piece? Uh, <laughs> did you notice when? Uh, Woody Harrelson is talking about wanting to put a team together and it flashes all these different characters. The black woman with maybe, uh, you didn't notice her? I don't feel like I remember yeah. seeing that. Part. Well, I, I'm I watched thinking... the trailer earlier today and I don't even remember seeing Woody Harrelson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's in there. <laughs> he's going to be like Hans, Hans mentor. Maybe he's, that's, maybe I didn't like see right there. Anymore. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, the, this black woman, I'm think she, thinking she's going to be, uh, Sana Solo. From the comic books, a oh, yeah. recently created character in recent years. Uh, she's not actually Han Solo's wife, but instead they they had to get fake married to pull off a heist or something. Uh, I see that happening. Yeah, so yeah. I'm thinking we're gonna see Asana Solo because we're gonna see some early uh, early Han yeah. doing some high some jobs maybe. We're gonna. I'm hoping we get to see the Kessel Run, and that's what. This oh whole, right, yeah. Yeah, I'm oh, hoping God. that's what this whole movie is. It's like okay, we'll have to deal with all the night. It's gonna be the winning. Yeah. Final like movie. That's where the movie ends is when he wins. <laughs> when he does it in under and twelve like, parsecs. Yeah, it's like a fist in the air, and then the credits start. Rolling. Oh, it's just like Rocky. It's the Rocky of the Star Wars movies. Um, Gotta make it. But yeah, no, I, I'm. I, this is mostly just wish fulfillment, just so we can see these I events happen on that. screen, and that's it. I don't expect great acting. I don't expect this one to blow well, me away. Well, I think uh, Woody Harrelson would do great. Oh, well, we got Woody Harrelson. He's we got. Playing, um, he's playing like a Yondu character, kind of. Yeah, kind of. He's, kinda, he's kinda. like a dad figure to Hans. And we and got. Uh, I like Woody Harrelson. Emily Clark. 
who you might recognize as Daenerys Targaryen. Oh, okay, yeah. From yeah. the I Game didn't of Thrones. She She's in there, yeah. Dude, Paul Bettany, uh, Division. Yep. He's yep, gonna yep. be in, he's, he's in been great at everything. So we've got we've got a good cast of surround, oh, surrounding <laughs> these two big question marks, which are Donald Glover and all night. Everything's Mike. lying so. on you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, if Pressure's anything, it's on. just gonna be wish fulfillment. It would be nice to see this stuff. It'll also be nice to have this stuff definitive in the Star Wars canon. This yeah. is how Han and Chewie met. This is how Han got the Falcon. And you can't discuss yeah. a new Star Wars movie without discussing the new droid. Uh, do you know the new droid? No, no, yeah, I don't uh, know anything about that new. I know who you're talking about, but I it's don't know our yet. first female droid. Ooh. It's gonna be a female. Oh no, not our first female droid. Oh, uh. Star Wars Episode One: The first protocol your droid you see is serving drinks to. Okay. Uh. Well, I, I think yeah. what I meant is like main character, female droid. Fair enough. Fair BBA, R two D two, C three PO. There's another one in there. I mean, unless they really have voices. But, uh, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, well, I, I don't you know. You can so, add fe- a feminine like afflictions to. Yeah, the character. I think C three PO has referred to R two D two as a he. All oh, right. Before, so, yeah. Well, uh, apparently they've stated it's a female droid. It's yeah. not a, you know, not droid hey, fluidity. Dude, it's 2018. <laughs> you can women be whatever can be, you want. Women, women can be droids these days. Yeah, man, you can be whatever you want, little bot. <laughs> uh, but apparently it's also self-improving. It takes off of other, like, robots and builds yeah. onto itself. Very cool. Which, uh kind of feeling like they took from one of my stories in my head. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and it's also going to be uh the comic relief. Uh, as a lot of them are. Ah, okay. So yeah, you're gonna it get seems another... like Rogue One set a precedent that we we have to. I'll have to see. I don't know. R two D two and uh, well, it's always been a thing in Star Wars that the droids are kind of the Laurel and Hardy. Yeah. Or Abbott and Costello oh, of yeah. the world. They've been great. I love them. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're some uh, greatest characters. <laughs> and uh, something they have also done with uh, Solo isn't it? Uh, like. Amazing! They didn't put out anything up to like three months till the movie's supposed to. Yeah, be out. that is pretty interesting, and even but, more so than uh, well, what we're talking about. Venom doesn't tell much. Yeah, yeah. They, well, I mean, this one. Tells I would a say lot. it's interesting. I wouldn't say it's great though, because in this case, this movie has gone through so yeah. much trouble that I think it's just a move to be like, let's just get through this. I think we're gonna that, drop that trailer real quick. Yeah. The movie's gonna come out practically the next week, as far as movies are concerned, and then. Uh, we could just get past Solo. <laughs> we could just get this over with. Yeah, I def- uh, I'm excited for it. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm not excited. I just want to see it. I want to see it. Yeah, I just want to see a Donald, how Donald Glover does. want to see the new Han. And yeah. then the rest of the story uh, should be, hopefully, should be good. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's, yeah. here's hoping. Uh, the new Ninja Turtle show coming from Nickelodeon. Oh, is, yeah. It is ridiculous, and uh, we we got our first look uh, a, a few weeks back. I I posted the thing with Ben Schwartz being the voice of Leonardo, which seemed totally wrong. Ben Schwartz. Oh, is he yeah. from uh, Big Bang Theory? No, no. no. Uh, he, you would know him from Parks and Recreation. He was um, John Ralphio. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember you saying yeah. something about this. Yeah, he was John Ralphio. And Technically, he he's homeless. <laughs> Fakes his death and everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a wild uh, He's character. playing Leonardo in this thing, and it he doesn't even change his voice. It's just his voice. I would see him as Michelangelo, maybe? No. Because he's like I don't see him upbeat as any of them. Supposed to be like annoying, I uh, guess. You know? Maybe Vern. The camera guy, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I don't see him as any of the fucking turtles. Uh, but then again, these turtles aren't necessarily the turtles we know and love. Yeah, because uh, they did release a actual kind of synopsis and a, a character description of the new turtles, and it says mm. the turtles hold distinct personality traits and skills, including Raphael as the oldest and biggest brother. He's the leader, full of enthusiasm and bravado. bravado. Which is definitely new. Right off the bat, we're we're not on a, in a good place. Leonardo, the self-professed coolest brother, possesses irreverent charm and a rebel heart. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Donatello, a mechanical genius and tech wizard whose ninja skills are second only to his coding. That's To his coding. That doesn't seem so bad. Yeah, that one seems right. And Michelangelo, the youngest brother, a skateboarder and artist who is wild and imaginative. So that one's still kind of on there. He's never really been an artist, I want to yeah. say, but... Yeah, you can see um, in some of the artwork where he's drawn on himself, the shield, his, <laughs> yeah. his shell and such, makes him look like a total child. And, yeah. Uh, we're I'm talking about Nickelodeon here. I'm getting but... a whole Teen Titans Go vibe yeah, from this yeah. whole thing. See, when I first already. read that, I was okay with the new team direction at first, like Raphael being the leader. That was okay. I didn't realize he was in full of enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not cool yeah. with that, but uh, I think some of the direction they'll go is okay. I mean, it's it's okay to, to try and change things up. Like, Raph being, <clears throat> being a leader seems so right. See, because here's the thing. like, If, if we don't like it, it, which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like it. It won't be around long. It, well, <laughs> it's not just that. Well, I, I hate Teen Titans Go, and that's, that's going strong. It's got a movie now, so... Uh, but if I don't like it, I can watch the 80s cartoon. I can watch the brilliant, uh, most recent Nickelodeon yeah. iteration uh, that I've said on this podcast so many times that oh, I love. That reminds me of, uh, yeah, that old, uh, that most pr- uh, previous cartoon. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Sean Astin did a voice for Raphael? Yeah, yeah. Um, I found it somewhere online where uh, Sean Astin and the guy who does the voice of Donatello are doing somewhat of a podcast. And, oh, um, really? Yeah, it's a video of them talking in the microphones, and they're doing the voices of Raphael and Donatello, <laughs> but they're reading a script from <laughs> Step Brothers. And, uh, That's awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, it starts with uh, Raphael showing Donatello. He's like, you want to see something really cool? A sword signed by Randy Jackson. And that's where it starts. And it, and it works out perfectly because he shows him a sword. That's Donatello great. shows him the goggles. And um, they have a couple <laughs> cuss words in there, and it sounds awesome. I didn't know until that point that Sean Astin did his voice. And, uh, that is that is hilarious. Oh yeah, check that out if you get a chance. Uh, <laughs> Step Probably, Brothers. Yeah. Step uh, Brothers is the only related thing. But there. yeah, I mean, to to my point, that the, there are iterations. We can always go back and watch those. We don't yeah. have to watch this. So yeah. if they want to change it up, that's that's cool. It just it just feels a little weird. I don't dig the character designs. That's where I'm the getting Teen Titans go. Yeah, the artwork's the worst thing uh, to me. I hate it. And, and you've got <laughs> April O'Neil, who they is now a black character. Which again, that's if you got to change it, just shake it up. Fine, I don't care about that. What I care about is is her bat magic or is that is she a witch? It looks like now, a ghost or, bat. <laughs> yeah, what what the fuck is going on with her bat in this uh, character image? We got some diehard Danny Phantom Riders <laughs> in the room. <laughs> yeah. right? I don't know what's up She's with that. Gotta have a ghost so bat. that's a little weird. I really don't want her to be like a a wizard of some sort. <laughs> Supernatural. Anything. Yeah. Effect. See, uh, April in the last cartoon had a a big. Uh, Krang uh, storyline. Yeah, that, that was awesome. Yeah, basically. and that was that was fine. And the fact that it, it's it, twisted they, and scientific. They and had like changed her character mysterious. a little bit too because she wasn't a journalist this time around. She was a, a teenage, teenage girl. Yeah, you know who who comes in contact with the turtles after her dad is kidnapped. That that was a really great yeah. way to go about it. But yeah, this one just really isn't doing much for me i don't recognize any of the voice actors outside of ben schwartz and right. john cena who i guess is going to be playing a villain baron draxham or something yeah, that's yeah. a the one thing i uh wrote that i was okay with <laughs> yeah i'm totally fine with that that's <laughs> cool that's with that. totally cool but something did come out of this that was pretty interesting mm-hmm. uh is that PETA is petitioning for these new turtles to be vegan no and well, okay, now my... What does that mean? <laughs> well, well, my first thoughts on this were, was exactly what you were saying. It was just like, oh, God, Peter, shut up. Just right. shut your stupid faces. Can't have them munching on broccoli and shit. But it, but it actually, <laughs> uh, they, they make some good points. Okay. Uh, I gotta say, and uh, it says here, Modern kids are embracing vegan food, so why shouldn't modern Ninja Turtles? Vegan pizza is popular, and it's healthier and far kinder to animals than old-fashioned dairy cheese pizza. PETA thinks that's something the Heroes in a Half Shell would support. 
Uh, in this letter, they also go on to say, like, look, you're changing this up, you're changing that up. Why not change this up? They can still love pizza. It just doesn't have to have meat on it. Yep. Sure. And the 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 whole of the letter is actually very respectful. It makes a lot yeah. of references for, to the Ninja Turtles. Like, it seems like they were trying to be fun with it, too, to get their point across. It wasn't your, like, look... Fuck your turtles and fuck pizza and fuck pepperonis and fuck everything. And fuck you. Make them fucking vegan or we'll burn fucking yeah. Ninja Turtle shit. But you don't see them like, uh, attack, like, I wouldn't say they're attacking. Okay. Yeah. But you don't see them getting a hold of, uh, Uncle Grandpa where one of the characters is a piece of pizza and they do tons <laughs> of lazy, engorging things throughout yeah. the show. And then We Bear Bears, where the whole show is almost entirely of them trying to eat things. And then a lot of old Nickelodeon cartoons, like Hey Arnold, where almost every show had a eating contest yeah. episode. Well, no, I, like this, I, see like, where I see where you're coming from. I don't see why they should, like, but they shouldn't have their hand in any of it. But this isn't uh, them crusading to, like, change everything that's yeah. already existed and everything that's going to exist. This is them seeing that they're obviously taking the, the turtles in a new direction here. They're trying something I, different. I and kind they, of assume they eat different pizza all the time. Well, uh, well, Mikey does, for sure. Yeah, they eat <laughs> sure. different stuff. Uh, but, especially in the 80s cartoon, but... No, I yeah, I'm down what for I'm vegan pizza. What like. I'm saying here is that they they're they're trying to capitalize on them changing the turtles up. Like the the whole dynamic of the thing is different. April's black and now Raph is the leader and Leo's the cool brother and and so they're like well, why not modernize it and make vegan pizza a thing? Okay. They also quote a bunch of statistics that makes it seem like vegan pizza is more popular and more oh, yeah. bought than regular pizza I doubt and to it. that in their letter, I say, yeah, right. right. But, uh, I think, like, I don't know if this is a healthy thing to say, you know, broadcast, but you know, probably ate, like, three regular freaking pizzas uh, in the past month. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, I've, I get pizza. Yeah. So, uh, but, but it seems I'm like... not against it. I just don't feel like it... They, I guess they're, cap like, not capitalizing, but they're taking advantage of an opportunity to yeah. be a part of. And... I mean, I don't know. You can't I'm, blame him for that. I guess, uh, it's just I'm they're... neutral, not excited. About <laughs> yeah, it. I'm already turned off by the whole idea of the show anyway, so I guess I shouldn't right. care about them. <laughs> right. It's just music. their way of trying to add some more to the uniqueness it's of different. this new show, uh, which still looks like crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? But what does not look like crap, and what is so reminiscent of the turtles that we know and love, yeah. is the new DLC coming. Yes. Uh, I think it's on the thirteenth. Of where you uh, get regular pizzas. Yeah, where you <laughs> get some regular pizza. Yeah, there's regular pizzas uh, in this DLC. Hashtag PizzaGate. <laughs> How come every time me and you do an episode, it ends up in like so much, so many hashtags? <laughs> Uh, but that, that is the, uh, Ninja the Turtles finally making their way. The, yeah. Peter's war on pizza. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, that is the Ninja Turtles making their way to Injustice 2. We, we talked about this when it was first announced and speculated and all that stuff. Now we have some definitive gameplay trailers out. Yeah. Some, uh, some of, uh, IGN's videos are the NetherRealm Studios creators, like, sitting down and actually going through and mapping out, like, this is how the turtles are going to work. We finally have some answers. First thing, I want to say that Super Move is awesome, where it's all four of the turtles. Back to back? Yeah, well, uh, well, say? that's where it ends up, but, like, it's like, oh, Leo does a thing, and then Mikey comes in on the it's skateboard. It's the combos of them all. Yeah. Just Smashing all the character into the air, basically. Yeah, yeah, eventually getting them up in the air, doing the shell shock. All shell four shock shells, is what they say, Back yeah. to back. Uh, that was so fucking cool. It was good. Uh, it seems like each turtle is going to play it individually. Like, yeah. it, we, whenever you're playing Donnie, he's a little slower, but he's got some range. Leo is a little more balanced. Right. Mikey is quick. And, uh, and, are and they... it seems like Raph is more, like, ground and pound. Oh, yeah. He would definitely be, like, a yeah. brawler kind of, uh, kind of guy. Yeah. Um, uh... 
are they different characters on the game or no now this is the thing that we were speculating about before was like how are we going to get to use each turtle is it going to be like uh each you're going to see them on the yeah. roster their is it going to be combo moves or what is it going to be no uh what they've done is when you go into the character customization uh when you start out downloading the turtles you're going to get four different weapons for the accessory slot and depending on which weapon you attach will depend on what the loadout is so mm. if you attach the size you're going to get rap if you attach the bow staff you're going to get donatello and, oh man yeah and and with the way the loadouts work you're going to get three loadout spaces right off the bat and the more you progress the character the more loadout spaces you get so you can pretty much get all four of the turtles right off the bat and did it, uh i i guess since i haven't played it i, I was kind of confused by it while you're the other turtles, do you get to use the other weapons? Uh, no, not okay. necessarily. Yeah, I uh, couldn't remember if that was like a part of it. I thought that was really interesting. If yeah, that was. well, if you're playing as Leo, and and each character has a different character power. Yeah. Uh, which is something unique to each different uh character in the game. Yeah. But when you're playing as Leo, his character power is his brothers will come in and do like Unattack. kind of a combo move with him and, and help him out and stuff. Uh, whereas the other brothers all have just unique stuff. Like Donatello's is this, uh, he, well, he does machines. So yeah. <laughs> Donatello does gadgets. machines. So he throws out this gadget and it can either uh, block projectiles or like keep the character from trap jumping them. yeah trap them or bring them closer or further away from them um uh, i think rafts is kind of a uh build up combo type thing similar to what catwoman's oh is and i in the love game. the uh how you uh build up their energy or what i don't know exactly what you call it yeah uh, I, I think for for Raphael, it's getting hyped yeah getting hyped. exactly what and they call like, it yeah. yeah he starts like Huffing <laughs> around like punching, yeah. and punching down like yeah. God, I hate these guys. Uh, kind of thing. And then Mikey's perfect. And Mikey's is real fun because he he gets on his jet powered skateboard and oh, he can yeah. either like kick it into him or grab it and hit him over the head with I it. I think I was stuff. wanting the skateboard pretty bad when we were talking about it last time. Yeah, <laughs> skateboard's got to happen. And these guys, these guys are gonna be so much fun to play with. I, oh, I yeah. cannot wait. Makes to me do envious that. for sure. I can't wait <laughs> to see um, because when you go into multiverse you can do basically this like arcade mode like with any other mortal Kombat game mm -hmm. and each character mm -hmm. has an ending to the arcade mode as if they had been the ones to beat oh Rainac. yeah yeah, Just like mortal Kombat, yeah yeah so i can't wait to see how the ninja turtles and you always like Brainiac, their little story. Oh part. Yeah. yeah yeah and you always get like little trophies and achievements like you got to get all of Everybody through arcade. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And be, uh, you're going to want to see all those stories, especially uh, the uh, Ninja Turtles, you know. Now, I know you don't play this game uh, ever, <laughs> really, no, because no, you no. don't own it. But, no, no. Uh, <laughs> but from your experience with the game and uh, your knowledge of the Turtles... I beat who, the first one. Who would be times. your go-to Turtle? Like, who who would be your, your Turtle that you would definitely load out? Did, uh, is it Leonardo or Donatello that has a bow staff? It's Donatello. I would say the bow staff would be one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, I was very fond of Killick during Soul Calibur. And a bow staff, you have a huge advantage getting distance on anybody. It's true. Like, uh, like most most of you getting fucked up in a fighting game is letting yeah. someone close to you. That's one of the things so that... So keeping uh, that distance is the best, I think. That's one of the things that makes me so good with green arrow in that game is because right. there's a lot of ranged attacks he's very quick too yeah you gotta be um, quick enough too. but donnie's a little slower and that's probably why i would go with michael but that's harder to move i'd say there's pushback when you yeah. swing that thing well he's also like he's the more intelligent brother and he focuses more on the sciences than he does his training yeah. he's no slouch when it comes to ninjutsu but he mm -hmm. you know like the other three brothers are usually the better fighters yeah. uh but i would have to go with michelangelo because of his fast paceness i yeah. i get the combo system a little more that's what makes me gravitate towards uh green arrow black canary which is one of my favorite characters to use in the game yeah i'd like to see some of these uh newer characters uh, and on injustice too because like uh also the other dlcs that are coming out well, uh, that this is supposed to be the last one. The other ones that did come out. Yeah, uh, uh, Hellboy. Well, yeah, you got Hellboy. You got 
uh, which that would be a cool story to see too at the end of an arcade. Uh, I don't think I've taken him through arcade yet. See, yeah, I need to see do if that. Some Hellboy uh, story there. That'd yeah, I need to take him through arcade. I totally. They forgot. needed to add uh, Abraham. <laughs> that would've been cool. And and then you've got your um your various skins too for the uh, turtles. It, well, oh. well, no. Uh, you've got your premier skins for a lot of the other characters. Like uh, Raiden's premier skin is Black Lightning, oh, cool. and uh, Cheetah's premier we, skin is Vixen. Oh, uh, we talked about um yeah different skin possibly like the uh, turtles might just be skins. Yeah. But what if you could still do a skin for him? Like Leo can change into a, or Donatello can change into Metalhead. Just for a yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or uh, uh, I was use thinking, the caveman one. Wouldn't toys? Splinter be a great one? I was yeah, thinking that earlier in the day. Wouldn't Splinter be just the best Premier skin? And uh, maybe uh, Donnie's. Because Splinter has the cane. Maybe Donnie's oh, yeah. loadout would be good for him. But uh, yeah, no, it would be really interesting to see if they did that. I doubt they're going to. I really feel I like they would have announced it. Yeah. yeah, they've already finished that package up. Yeah, but it, it would be cool. And we're all hoping that they release new premiere skins even after this fighter pack is done because like i said this is supposed to be the last one and speaking of last ones this was our last discussionary topic yeah. for the day there are a lot of news stories that come out in the week and that is why we take a quick dip into the phone booth it's time for the news the phone booth news. <laughs> right <on. laughs> that's right guys it is time for the phone booth news this segment where we try to give you the news faster than deadpool can save the day which gives us pretty much three minutes 45 seconds based off of that first teaser trailer travis has his finger on the button here and whenever you're ready three two one go in book news, Hocus Pocus has a sequel coming, but in book form. Hocus Pocus and the all-new sequel is out July 10th. The crew of Serenity is heading to Titan Books. The first of three Firefly novels hit shelves October of this year. In video game news, Star Wars Battlefront 2's anticipated revamped progression system based on player feedback is coming in March. A trailer for Shaq Fu, A Legend Reborn, is now out <laughs> and promises to settle the score of 94. <clears throat> the like SNES Classic hit a milestone of 4 million units sold worldwide. Brawly, Bardock, Vegito, and more have been discovered as DLC for Dragon Ball Fighters or Fighter Z, thanks to data mining. <laughs> In I Did Want to Make Five Different Separate Categories news, a trailer for Marvel's first scripted podcast endeavor, Wolverine The Long Night, is yes. out now. Carrie Fisher posthumously uh, won her first Grammy for Best Spoken Word Album for The Princess Diarist. Universal and Feld Entertainment are teaming for a Jurassic World Live uh, a touring show with massive animatronics set to start touring in 2019. I wrote mm. that like trash. Former UFC bantamweight champion Ronda Rousey has signed full time as man uh, as a member of the WWE roster. Vince McMahon has also announced that the XFL or Extreme American Football League that ran from 2001 to 2002 will return in 2020 and won't have any crossovers with the WWE like last time. <laughs> In TV news, Fuji TV has said that Dragon Ball Super will be coming to an end in March, and a new production is currently TBA. DC has announced a Superman prequel that will follow Lois Lane and Lex Luthor. Metropolis ex is expected to debut in 2019 on DC's digital streaming service. <clears throat> ABC decided to cancel Once Upon a Time in its seventh season, and a trailer for Jessica Jones Season 2 is out now. The new season will dive deep into Jessica's past and powers. DC uh, Disney CEO Bob Iger revealed multiple Star Wars shows are in development for Disney's upcoming streaming service as well. Shit. In movie news, Game of Thrones showrunners David Beninoff and D.B. Weiss have been optioned by Lucasfilm to write and produce a new series of Star Wars films. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom has a new trailer out and showcases some of the series' semi-horror roots. John Cena is in talks to play Duke Nukem in the upcoming live-action yes. films. And Variety reports that Joaquin Phoenix is in talks to play the Joker in the standalone film. 
Page Six also revealed pics in several tweets of Brie Larson suited up for Captain Marvel sporting the original Kree uniform colors. And in comics news, Frank Castle was revealed to be the cosmic ghost rider, Spirit of Vengeance, making it even harder to take Marvel seriously. Dan Slott confirmed his run on Amazing Spider-Man will be coming to an end with issue 801, and he'll be taking over the Iron Man book. The comic adaptation for The Last Jedi will feature new, brand new content, brand new material, not deleted scenes from the film, <laughs> Jesus, and after 23 years, Astro City is ending its monthly series and will continue in graphic novel form. Uh, Jeff Johns also announced that Doomsday Clock is switching to bi-monthly in lieu of moving from 32 pages to 20. <sighs> And after Dark Knight's Metal, Scott Snyder will be penning a four-issue miniseries titled Justice League No Justice before taking on the main title itself. And finally, Superman is donning the red trunks again in issue 1000 and shortly after will be starting a six-issue Man of Steel series written by Brian Michael Bendis. And, 409. Uh, yeah, I fudged that one. I yeah. fudged it last well. week. I fudged it this week. I you punched took a, it up. You took a pretty hearty uh, moment there to clear your throat. Uh, and, well, uh, I was I, the spit was getting built up. And, was, and uh, uh, two, Jesus. I cannot wait to see those deleted scenes in the last Jedi comic book. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What I meant to say there's there, a blooper reel at the end too. <laughs> <laughs> what I meant to say there, uh, and shit, I even lost the the moment in the page <laughs> is uh, that the comic adaptation of the Last Jedi is gonna feature brand new material opposed to deleted scenes you, from the film. You don't get do overs. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now, now you know what I meant there. So, but that's cool. We're gonna get like some brand yeah. new Last Jedi There's stuff. There's a lot of good stuff. Uh, in there. They're doling out some Last Jedi stuff in the in the novel adaptation too. Apparently, the novel is gonna have uh, Han Solo's funeral in it. I've which, heard about. That yeah, thing. I'm kind of pissed that's not in the film though, because that you think that would be there. That should be in every the iconic film. character who ends up dying usually gets one. Just one more way Rain Johnson said fuck J.J. Abrams. <laughs> it's a little annoying, and I still love the film. Don't get me wrong; I'm not Maybe. changing my opinion, but uh, I do wish that had been in there. You would think, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and move on from the main topical news and uh, actually pay some homage to some fallen heroes. Every now and again, we have a legend born, but before they can become a legend, they must pass through this mortal coil and become fallen heroes. And the first one we're going to talk about is the author of the Left Hand of Darkness and the Earthseas trilogy, Hugo, a Nebula Award winner and pioneer for female writers in science fiction and fantasy, Ursula K. Le Guin, and I really hope I didn't butcher that last name, um, <laughs> she recently passed away of bad health at the age of 88. Uh, additionally, we also say goodbye to the creator of the Beetle Bailey comic strip series, a comic strip that appeared to over 2 million readers in over 1,800 newspapers across more than 50 countries. Like That's a lot of people that oh, yeah. know this guy's work. Uh, and this guy is Mort Walker. He recently passed away of uh, complications with pneumonia. Uh, Mort drew the strip for over 68 years. Like He almost hit seven decades on this thing. And uh, he eventually passed it along to his sons in the oh. 80s. And they still are writing that to this day. That's so awesome. and his legacy is living on like, as we speak. So that's always good to, good to hear. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. Uh, so unfortunately we say goodbye to the, these people, but, uh, they left some work for us to appreciate and, uh, hopefully they will never be forgotten. But, uh, that, that is going to bring us into what would be our comic book segment, but we, we've chosen to forgo that this yeah. this episode uh a lot of beefy trailers yeah there's a lot of a lot of trailers it's sports season and uh we just we just didn't feel honestly we just didn't feel like preparing it <laughs> <laughs> we were a little lazy but uh we're gonna make up for it because we are actually changing our comic book review structure mm -hmm. uh we're we're gonna be taking odell's idea of something <laughs> old something new and something borrowed something blue 
And for, because for some reason we're, we're going uh, wedding esque <laughs> with our comic section, a wedding podcast. Oh, what? Why? Why are we not doing a wedding cast? Wedding cast, right? Right. Come uh, on down and get married on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, but so next time we do comics, we're gonna be doing something a little new. We're gonna be doing something old, which is gonna be covered by me. I'm gonna dig into my back issues pull out a gem and and uh give you guys a little review of it we're going to be doing something new which is odal is going to be tacking <laughs> tachyon odal is going to be tapping into the tachyon energy to, <laughs> <laughs> to travel to the future <laughs> yeah. uh, odal doing a new number one from that month uh, we're going to be doing something borrowed, which is going to be you guys stepping in and actually joining in on the podcast. Every week or two, we're going to be dropping down and asking you guys to tell us about some of the books that you've been reading and what you're excited about, what you think about them, blah, 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 blah. And then we're going to be doing something out of the blue, which will be Travis pulling in any random book that he wants to. <laughs> So you're going to look forward to that on future some, episodes. Some juicy bits in there. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a whole lot of information to digest. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's what we're going to be doing. We're trying to change it up here at the sort of my podcast studios. Yes. We're thinking about getting a swimming pool and an entourage. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, go ahead and uh, fuck off. <laughs> I'm, I'm really falling apart at the end. <laughs> this is really, really shit. Crumbling. <laughs> but guys, I think that's going to go ahead and bring us to the end of this episode. Uh, Trav, what did you think about this one? We changed up the structure here a little bit. That was good. Uh, I like it. a little backwards. Yeah. I, like, uh, I like covering uh, interesting things. <laughs> yeah. Like the, mo- the movies, though. Yeah, yeah, all- you, you like simple, interesting visions. Yeah, as long know? as it's interesting, you know. You know what would yeah. be really interesting? <laughs> what? If my next piece is Star-Lord fighting Johnny Karate oh. <laughs> from Parks and Recreation. Be, you yeah. have to have, like, Burt Macklin hiding in the bushes, though. So. Right. Well, I, I feel like he's going to be coming in with a flying foot strike, and Star-Lord's just going to be shrugging it off. Oh, my God. What, okay, so you got Burt Macklin off in the bushes. Oh, wait, wait, got, wait. I didn't even realize you said Burt Macklin. Yeah. yeah. you got oh, Burt yeah. Macklin off in the bushes, like, oh, watching man. him. He's, like, reporting in or something. And then you've got his character from Jurassic World trying to break him <laughs> right, up. To, oh, my God. I just need to make a whole Chris Pratt. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Uh, you can call it four degrees of Pratt. There we go. Something like that. I'm sure I, I can know. get more. <laughs> get more out of him. Yeah. yeah uh, if you wanna, if you wanna check some of that stuff out, uh, follow me on Twitter, yep. uh, and yep. Instagram, and Facebook, and all of it's all under. Yeah, Simple I, I'm Instinct pretty. Visions. I'm pretty sure we've got all that down in the description yep. below. So quick, quick links right down there in the description. Look for. <laughs> Right there. I like yeah. how you worked on that language that you've been working on, yeah, man. Well, you've been working on that. Uh, I'm trying to trying to set something up with our podcast <laughs> listeners, like a little language between us and them. An original know? language on this <laughs> original, podcast. Original S and P language. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm gearing up for our own country. <laughs> yeah. It starts with a potential comic shop, and then it just grows from there. <laughs> Uh, guys, go ahead and uh, like this episode if you liked it. Subscribe if you love it. Uh, comment any of your thoughts on today's stories down below. And share this episode on social media. Again, it helps us grow. It helps us get our name out there. You know, the the, the better we do, the better we can provide for you guys. And uh, that, that is going to take us out. My name is Vincent Herman. Been the human. Travis Herman, Dr. T. Neal. And hashtag cue that outro music. <laughs>